You know, I can remember years ago having a conversation with a woman, and she said, uh, I'm so unhappy. And I said, why are you so unhappy? And she said, because God hates me. And I said, why do you feel that God hates you? And she says, well, God just has never liked me and uh, is constantly out to get me, is constantly trying to punish me for the mistakes that I've made in my life. And I said, no, that's not true. God loves you. God is trying to lift you up. God is trying to make those qualities of soul come through your body and through your life. And she got a glimpse of it. I'm not sure that she was ever able to totally grasp it, but I pray that you do. I pray that you realize that God loves you not with a human judging love, we try to put God in a human image instead of a man and a woman in God's image. But in the image that God holds of you, it is in the divine image. The qualities that you have, the potential that you have to go beyond and that is the kind of God that I worship, the kind of God that Jesus talked about constantly. In Romans, it says, we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ I ask you today just to suspend that belief of anything less than, than the greatness of God. What we say about God says more about us than it does about God. I pray that you are able to see yourself in a new light, that you see yourself as God sees you. And perhaps this is the ultimate spiritual experience to have. To have a new view of ourselves that is the divine view. To see yourself as God sees you, perfect, whole, and free. In the sight of God, you are God's perfect child. Now, let me go back to human form. Uh, mom and dad looking at their child. And as the child makes mistakes, and sometimes is not that good of child, well, the parents, though, with the total love that they have for that child, they see their child as perfect. Well, if God will do so much through the parents and through the love exhibited in them, how much more will God do as God towards you? In the sight of God, I tell you, you are free from all your limitations. In the sight of God, you are free from condemnation. In the sight of God, you are whole and you are well. God sees you not through human judging eyes, but through the eyes of love. God loves you with a full love, a complete love, an unconditional love. And that is not conditional at all. It's now and forever. What a sense of freedom is yours when you see yourself as God sees you. As you see yourself as lovable, deserving of love, and beloved already of God. You lay aside judgments that you may have held about yourself. Judgments about your health, 
your circumstances and your experiences in life. You see yourself with a spiritual vision as God sees you, perfect, whole, and free. And every cell of your body and mind vibrates with health and wholeness. You have a real sense of the abundant potential to be all that God created you to be. I pray today that you have this spiritual vision of yourself to see yourself as God sees you.